Hello, hello again everyone. This is Jan from New York City and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing on this wonderful Saturday and Sunday? Because this is after all the weekend chat. Hope that this video finds everybody doing well. You know, I was just getting a little bit of reminiscent about the times that I grew up in. And actually, I was a little kid in the 1960s, and I was a teenager in the 1970s. How many out there viewing this grew up in that same time era? Oh my goodness. I have to say, it was a most exciting time for entertainment especially music. I mean, come on. I remember the British invasion. I remember the first time we saw the Beatles air on Ed Sullivan on February 9th. Although I was a little kid, like in kindergarten when that happened, I still remember it. I also remember the sad, very saddest day in America, one of the saddest days, and that was the day that John F. Kennedy was assassinated. And when I get back, I'm going to talk to you specifically about that day for a minute. Thank you so much for sticking around. I really do appreciate your time. How many of you viewing this video can actually remember the exact day when uh, John F. Kennedy, President of the United States, was assassinated? I can tell you exactly what I was doing and where I was doing it. I was in kindergarten in a parochial school here in Manhattan, and I vividly remember the teachers the nuns and the priests running around to each other's classroom, hysterical crying. Now, from a child's point of view, this is very weird, okay? I knew something really bad was going on. And then we heard an announcement on the public address system, and we were promptly dismissed from school. They call that rapid dismissal back in the day. Can you imagine? today just dismissing a class out of nowhere and just letting them go wherever but that's what they did and America stood still literally our hearts were broken from children up America stood still for a time and we were paralyzed but here's where the British invasion came in and here's specifically when the Beatles came in I am convinced that the British invasion of music and the Beatles helped heal America's broken heart, really and truly. I do remember that from a child's perspective. But when I get back, I want to reminisce about something more positive. One of my favorite years of music. And mind you, I was a child. Ask any kid that grew up in the 1960s what their favorite year of music was, I can almost guarantee you, many of the kids are either going to mention the tunes or the year. And that year was 1966. I kid you not. So many great songs came out that year. Uh, Summer in the City, uh, Good Vibrations, God Only Knows, uh, just so many Beatles tunes. Just. Too many to list right now, because as I record this, I'm going blank, but I can promise you the songs will come up in your head, too. Do you have a favorite music year? What decade were you born in? I was born in the late 50s, uh, December of 1958. But as far as I'm concerned, since it was December, I would, in my mind, say 59. <laughs> Keeps me a little bit younger anyway. Do you ever get into those sentimental, reminiscent moods? Uh, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things. And as time goes by, and then, of course, being a teenager in the 1970s. Oh, before I forget, another favorite music year of mine was also, for sure, and I'll tell you the months, too, January and February of 1972. OMG for popular music back then. Too many to list, but I can tell you, hey, how many of you out there like music? I'd love to, to hear from you. You know, music is, is totally one of the least expensive and greatest forms of relaxation, entertainment. They bring about and evoke so many memories of the past. Hopefully, most of the memories are good. 
Sometimes music can bring up a sad memory or two. It just happens that way. But music is vital. It really, really is. And um, I don't know. I just got reminiscent this week for, I guess, too many reasons. But in my case, I really, really love music. How about you guys? Let me know. Just curious to know. Growing up in New York City in the 1960s was, believe me, it's its own unique stuff, okay? And the kids back then, we played a lot of street games. Anybody out there grow up in New York City who's viewing this? Let me know if you remember this. I remember collecting bottle caps all along Prince Street down along Manhattan where they had these little vending vending booths and it was, the fun thing was to collect bottle caps so you could play a game a street game called Skelsey. Boy I'm really giving away my age back then <laughs> but we used to play this street game we used to have fun with bottle caps that's the thing of of then back then the simplest things we had fun with I mean I, I you know I'll never forget when people went sewer fishing what's that it's when you take a piece of gum a wad of chewed up gum and you put it on a string and go through the gratings down in the city streets and you look for things like people might have dropped rings and it's been known to happen where sewer fishing picked up stuff okay i personally i mean i did it as a little kid for fun one day but i never found anything <laughs> then of course people used to turn on the fire hydrants back then to cool off i'm not kidding they turn on the street fire hydrant. It was perfectly legal. It was allowed and everything. But they turned on the fire hydrants. They didn't have those nice caps like they do today with the sprinkles on it. The water would gush, literally gush in the gutter. And all the kids would sit along the edges of the curb and dip their body, dip their feet into the gutter and cool off. This was our crazy entertainment. Uh, growing up in the city and the boys would play stickball and wiffle ball and all these crazy things any any guys out there remember doing this in your location what did you do in your location back in the day now I know that not everyone viewing this grew up in the 60s and the 70s um, it's my understanding that maybe some of you grew up in the 80s and the 90s okay I'd love to know what you kids did when you were children growing up back then but the amazing thing was everything was just in my day anyway things were just so much simpler and uh i just never forget uh back in the day in my day mr potato head set before it became a plastic head with the pieces on it you actually got a real potato and they gave you these little objects to stick in the eyes and the nose and the mouth and I loved the toys growing up when I was a kid like give a show projector I had that uh, uh, just so many so many other things um, Pebbles Flintstone Pebbles Flintstone doll Mrs. Beasley we were so influenced by by things but my favorite toy of all one of my favorite and I had a lot of toys growing up Thank you, Mom and Dad. I have to say, thank you for your efforts. Otherwise known as Santa? <laughs> yes, yeah, Santa Claus did it. Anyway, um, my favorite instrument that I received growing up was called a Magnus chord organ. Anybody remember that? Oh, my goodness. It was a real little organ, and it came with a book, and you had to match the numbers with the chords. And, and you would just, like, read off from the book, and if you... You knew when to play the chords with the rest of it. And, he, and out came real music. It was great hand-eye coordination, and effectively, anyone could play. I love that Magnus chord organ so much that I ended up getting two. So that was, you know, something. But anyway, looking back, I have to say, it was a nice time. It was a nice time. What memories do you have growing up? What decade did you grow up in? What music did you like? I love all music, really, really all music, except opera, I can't lie. Opera wasn't my thing. <laughs> but as far as popular and rock and all that, you know, I was there, soul, all that stuff. So anyway, this was a random chat. I know it went nowhere, but hopefully you got to know me a little bit better because after all, I talk to you guys every single day. 
And with this random chat, I'd love to know what you liked and how it was for you growing up. And in the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for viewing my random chat. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you had a sense of the time that I grew up. And uh, by the way, it was a lot of fun huddling around the TV every Sunday night watching the Ed Sullivan Show. Some of the stuff that you view as classic music, we saw it run, first run on those shows. Great talking to you. I look forward to speaking with you again real soon. Have a great weekend.